<laughs> giving a lot of negative Xbox coverage lately on this channel, and a lot of people have not appreciated that very much. But the truth fucking hurts. And the truth is that Microsoft and the Xbox brand is at a very sad and pathetic state in 2024. To have an Xbox console and to be invested in the Xbox brand is a complete waste of time and money. That you're just better off staying away from Xbox at this point. So Avowed is one of the more highly anticipated first party games from Microsoft developed by Obsidian after The Outer Worlds, which was a game that was pretty good. You know, so we're finally getting a full current gen Obsidian game. But instead of that game, which was a sci-fi shooter, this is a fantasy game with, you know, swords and magic and that kind of thing, kind of like Elder Scrolls, but their own spin of it. A lot of people are looking forward to it, myself included. I look forward to playing the game on PC at 120 frames per second. Sadly for the console gamers, they are locked at 30 FPS. Yes, we are still talking about 30 FPS in 2024 for consoles. And this doesn't matter, it's across Series S and Series X consoles. I'm assuming it will be 1440p 30 on the Series X, or I'm sorry, Series S, and then 4K 30 on the Series X. But doesn't matter, either way you're locked at 30, no matter which version of the Xbox that you have. Because, you know, it's not even necessarily about the power of the console. It's not that the Series X is such a, like, it's like a potato that can't run this game at a, a reasonable frame rate, at 60 FPS. It's that they choose, that they, they take the choice away from you and say you must play this game at 30 FPS because we say so. And there's nothing you could do about it. So, you know, PlayStation, there are some games that uh, don't, let you play above 30 fps that's still you know that's a problem on the ps5 but every major first party game has had a performance mode at least most of them a lot more than the microsoft games at least you know where you could choose okay you want to play 4k 30 that's fine but you can also play 1440p 60 which i think is a more reasonable uh a co like like policy to have and a, a philosophy behind your game development is to give choice. Because here's the fucking truth. When you play a game at 30 FPS versus 60 FPS, and like once you're used to 60 frames like I have been on PC ever since I made the switch in like 2018, it, there's no going back, right? So a lot of people who have played console and have only played console, you've played a lot of games in 30 frames. And for you, you don't really see it as much of a problem because 30 FPS is pretty much all you know. Like, certain games like Call of Duty will always be 60 FPS. Cert like, you know, PvP, you know, that kind of stuff. But a lot of single-player games still are locked at 30. And, you know, you, you just you just don't know, you don't care. Like, I was like, I was one of those people who only played on PS4 and Xbox One. So when I, you know, I, I didn't really think much of the frame rate and I would make videos back then saying that 30 FPS and 60 FPS wasn't that big of a deal. Like it wasn't that much of a difference. It is. It absolutely is. Uh, so I, I can never like play any game at 30 FPS anymore. It's completely out of the question. Uh, so that's, so I think I made a good decision upgrading my PC and doing that instead of buying a console at this point. I... I mean, I've already said I'm never going back to console, but I think that stuff like this just affirms that. And I think the salt on the wound is really like if you look back at old tweets from, you know, people that work at Microsoft and work at Xbox talking about the Series X and hyping it up. Back in 2020, before the console came out, you had Aaron Greenberg, who's the vice president of marketing for Xbox, saying that 60 FPS will be the standard output. But the architecture allows us to support up to 120 FPS. Wow! Except one of your most anticipated fucking games coming out next year doesn't have the option not only for 120 FPS, but you can't even play at 60, which is just pathetic. Starfield was the exact same thing. And a couple other games too. Anyone who defends this is just sad at this point. Like, there, it's a sunk cost fallacy. You, you, you've paid... Whatever it was, $500 when the console came out, and you were so hyped about it, and 
you know, you, you, you were so excited to play it, and you spent so much money on playing it, on the games, on the mandatory paid online, that, you know, you can't admit that you pretty much just threw all your money away and wasted all of it, right? You have to, like, try to, to say in your head that, that it was kind of worth it, or else you're gonna lose your fucking mind. Like, that's what people do all the time, especially in the gaming world, but... Yeah, if you bought a console, this generation is, like, objectively speaking, the worst console generation of all time. You, you can't even argue against that. Like, the games, it doesn't even feel like the generation has got started, and we're three years away from the new generation. Does it feel like that to anybody? Like, let's be honest, it, it, it does not. It feels like the most underwhelming, just letdown of a console generation. Uh, but on PC, things have been going pretty good. I mean, the gaming industry as a whole has kind of been shit. But at least on PC, you know, you can run these games at a competent frame rate and you don't have to worry about a company limiting the power and capabilities of your machine because they think, oh, it just looks better the, to have the game at 30 frames per second and giving a performance mode. We just don't want to do that. We don't want to allow people to play in 60 FPS or higher and make the gaming experience absolute shit. 30 FPS is shit. That even my old PC build with a 2060 Super, which is a little bit behind, graphically speaking, compared to the PS5 and Series X, but I'm getting so much more. I, I, it's still a much better value than what the console offers. Never mind all the benefits of PC, because I talk about it all the time, how PC just gives you so much more than a console ever could, and just has so much more benefits. But even just talking about graphic and game performance, that aspect of it, I can decide, okay, you know, uh, Sony, Microsoft, whoever on the console decides that 4K30 is the only way I can play this game, right? And I can't really do, I can't necessarily do 4K30 on the 2060 Super, and it, at least it wouldn't look or run as good. You know, maybe like at very, very low settings I could do that, but I could easily run the same game at 1440p60 at like at least medium settings. Or, if I want to run it at a high settings, I could easily run the game at 1080p. Like, just having that flexibility and having options available to you, you know, especially something like a gaming system that you pay a lot of money for. And there was a lot of, like, there, the consoles have always had downsides to it, but at least you had the exclusive games to, you'd be like, well, I can't play this game anywhere else. But now, Sony and Microsoft are releasing all their games on PC anyway, so really is no point in having a console. It's antiquated, it's obsolete, it serves no purpose. Being a console gamer in 2024 is like being a Telegraph user in 1950. Or a dial-up user in 2010. You know, like, just get with the times, please. Your life will be so much better if you move on from the past. I know you have great memories with the consoles, and they've been such a huge part of your life and your gaming experience, but that time is long past. Console is dead. And the sooner all of you accept that, the better off you'll be.